Hi there, welcome back to the studio. So if you've been watching my videos, you probably already know that if I get bored with painting pours or various coasters, I try to find some really fun add-in or a fun way of doing a painting that shows you that there's some fun things that you can do in your own home. So this time I have found some little diamond add-ins. Um, they're with a save a date set in the wedding section and actually I believe that they were on clearance. So they look like little diamonds and I'm going to try to add those into a coaster today. So let's see how that works out. Okay, so I'm working in my box again. If you've watched any of my other um, coaster videos, you know that I work in a box so that then I can just pick it up, take it off my table and do something else the remainder of the day. So it's, it frees up some space and that's nice. So in these coasters today, I'm going to take some Pearl X, P-E-A-R-L-E-X, Pearl X powder. It's a, a mica powder and I'm going to mix it with my resin. It's called Flamingo Pink. That's going to be the outside edge. And then clear just in the center. And I, instead of doing four, I'm doing two, and I'm doing them all the way to the top this time. I don't always fill these all the way to the top, but I'm doing that this time. And then for flow over, I have a smaller uh, circle coaster that um, will do the... I don't know what I'm going to do with that one yet, but we'll make that one up as I'm we go along. to add a scoop, one scoop of flamingo pink into... Oh... Let's see, about two ounces of resin. Now, I love watching some artists that measure everything out. Unfortunately, I am just not that together. I just kind of make a guess at things. And I think that if I worry about measuring everything out and I worry about how much of this and how much of that, I just wouldn't do the, do the job, so. All right, so I've put my one scoop down into my resin. I'm going to mix it really carefully so that the powder does not fly. Now, I have had the experience where it just poofs out and goes into everything that is all around me. So you want to be careful with these mica powders. It's always good if you're wearing protection for breathing because of the mica powders, but also for the re for um, the resin fumes. I like to open up my art studio windows if it's warm enough. If it's too cool, cold of a day, you can't really do, well, you can work with your resin, but you'll have some difficulty. You'll have a lot of bubbles because of the cold the heat makes the bubbles rise out of your resin and having bubbles can be a problem I see if I don't know if you can see in this uh, coaster that I made do you see the two places let me see if there, there's another one on this one too so what happened here was my resin was too cold and even though I used a torch to get rid of the bubbles on this side of it Underneath of the playing card, the bubbles gathered together and made a hole. So um, I can actually put another layer of resin in that. If I have extra today, that might help too. But that is what happens if your resin is too cold. So you want to make sure you follow your manufacturer's instructions on your resin. These mica powders like to be mixed a lot. And then... They break up easily and incorporate into your resin nicely. So, all right, so I'm just going to pour this around. Well, it needs some more stirring. Do you see how that's making a different color change as it comes down the side of my cup? That's because I have some more. All right, so I'm ready to pour this around the outside edge. So, I like to pinch my cup so I can get it right down in to where I want it. And 
pouring it really slowly. I don't want the diamonds to shift too much. It took me a long time to get those all in there. Okay, so let's see how the diamond coasters have turned out. Well, looks like I left my cup here from yesterday. It is hard as anything, so that was the pink that I used. So gently take them out. I've actually had a couple of my molds tear on me the last couple of days, so I just want to be very careful. And I'm not sure why they did that. It didn't, it didn't, didn't seem like anything was sticking in particular. Well, interesting. So I don't have any of the facets that um, is the diamond on this. So isn't that interesting? So it's just really three-dimensional, but it has the gems in there. So that did not work out as well as I had thought. So interesting to know, don't put your diamonds, <laughs> fake diamonds, inside your resin and expect them to glitter like they do when they're free. Now this one is a little bit, you see how it spilled over a little bit? I can sand that off and it'll be nice. So those are interesting textures and they're cute, but they're just not glittery like diamonds. All right. Thank you for watching.